Today we are going to demo the P-TECH POS system designed for convenience, liquor, and tobacco stores. In addition to the inventory management and all standard functions, this system features a bright 15-inch touchscreen, a 12-inch customer-facing display that can also show advertisements, has a loyalty program, EDI does scan data reporting, split payments for EBT, has artificial intelligence for sales forecasting, is compatible with QuickBooks, has remote back office and smartphone app, as well as cloud backup included. This is the cashier login screen. It has a built-in time clock where they can clock in, clock out, go on break, as well as resume from break. Each cashier is assigned a unique user ID and you can also use a fingerprint scanner which protects employers from employee time theft. We'll go ahead and sign on and it asks for us to enter the opening balance of the cash drawer. Everything on the screen is going to be fully customizable. For example, we have we can um, broadcast messages when an uh, employee logs in. They get the message to don't forget to turn on the coffee machine. We'll go ahead and ring up a coffee. You can choose different sizes or refills. Again, all of this is customizable. You can choose the colors and what you want to show up. And we'll also go ahead and ring up an age sensitive item. We can visually confirm it or we can actually go ahead and scan a driver's license. It'll give us the birth date in green if it's age sensitive. I'm going to go ahead and prompt price. And you can see we've got our subtotal, taxes, food stamps broken out, as well as our gross total. And then down here we have fast buttons for cash. So they give us $10. We're on to the next transaction and the change will show right here. There is an option for house accounts or charge accounts where you can do a customer database as well as upload pictures, set limits, and view their balances. Our cash drawer button allows us to do adjustments, loan, drops, and payouts, and even record which vendor has been paid out and the reason. So anytime there's any activity with that cash drawer, it'll save it in this log. I'm going to go ahead and do a small pizza. You can um, charge for premium toppings if you'd like, charge extra. We also have order kiosk available. Customers can order on a tablet or online. The order is printed in the kitchen with an optional kitchen printer and the customer can check out at the register. And we're going to do a lottery ticket. Let's say they buy a $5 lottery ticket and um, also redeem a $5 lottery ticket. And you can go ahead and if the person forgot their wallet, you can hold the transaction, type in a description, check out the next customer, and then go ahead and resume that transaction just by bringing it back up here. Go ahead and pay them out. Under our miscellaneous button, it also allows us to do a price change log. So you can also print labels directly from there with the optional label printer. Our back office has system settings. This is the general settings, but a really nice feature of this is that you can customize footer text for receipts. Most of that set up on the initial training call. Our security settings is you can set roles like an admin, a cashier, or an employee. Uh, you can set up as many different roles as you'd like, and then you can set controls. So you can have them allow, ask reason, or block from the employee doing deletes or voids, no sales, or item returns. You can also control what reports they can see, as well as other functions. Our sales promotions shows us all our current promotions and you can set up a start date as well as an end date. 
so you don't have to remember to come in on Monday morning and change the price of the Gatorades. Our sales analysis allows you to compare year over year data as well as customize the analysis to your liking. So you've got hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly reports. Our shortcut buttons just allows us to create those custom shortcuts that we saw on the first screen. We also have a delayed shift reconciliation. So it will tell you the difference automatically for you and you don't have to do it right when the shift changes. You can go take it in the back, count out the drawer, and select the batch, and then go ahead and view the Z report. Our item groups is going to let us allow us to set mix and match price promotions, such as we've got all of our different flavors of Gatorades, but we want to say that all of those, no matter what flavor you buy, they're two for three dollars. We can set that promotion up here, hit save, and the promotion will be in there. For global price changes, um, say we want to go ahead and uh, adjust all of our basic cigarettes. We'll just go ahead in here, select those basic cigarettes, and currently they're all $7.99. If I want to go in here and change them, and I want to say, oh, the correct price is $7.89, I can put that price in. I can also change the cost and the buy down and it will apply it to every single one I have in this category. Hit apply and that change is made. There's 89 reports in all. All reports can be customized um, with dates or you can select the period. We've got sales reports, item sales reports, business analytics, inventory reports, customer reports, ordering reports, and miscellaneous reports. If there is a special report you need that's not there, we can have one customized for you. To enter a new item, we can do EDI if your vendor supports it. Most large vendors do. We'll just go to the Add button, and you'll enter the SKU, the name, the department, the price, and the cost, and it will automatically calculate the profit margin for you. You can also select from one of the taxes or no tax. You can enter a vintage for fine wines. You can also set reorder levels. So if I get down to 20 and I want to have it reordered at that point, it can give us messages to do so. You can also add an image of the item and have that show up on the main screen as well. A really neat thing about the system is the artificial intelligence that's built in. You can actually go in here, view the history, and say I want to see the last month. So I can see all transactions with this item in the last month. I can see any purchases from vendors. I can see price or quantity changes, cost changes, as well as sales analysis. It'll tell me what I sold last week, the last 15 days, last 30, 90, and 180 days. And then I can also go to forecast sales and it'll estimate what I'm gonna sell within the next two weeks. So it can help me with ordering as well. To process an EDI invoice, all you have to do is your vendor will send you an email. You get that set up with them and you go to this purchase bill process EDI invoice, and simply upload the file that they sent. Other apps that are included are our loyalty app, scan data app, QuickBooks integration app, as well as a label designer app. You need to purchase an optional label printer for that. When you're done for the day, you just go to close out. That'll give you your Z report. You can print it and it'll close out for the day. We also have pay at the pump coming. It is in final certification. It will include a chip reader and should be ready early second quarter. 
Please call us to schedule an interactive demo to answer any specific questions you have at 513-793-3500. Thank you for watching.